fun people, I'm Isaac Carlson and through the Soul trailers we've gotten so far, I want to talk about how I currently see Soul connecting to Inside Out. Let's discuss how both of these stories seem to be showcasing the origin of personality. Soul and Inside Out are two films that are both directed by legendary Pixar filmmaker Pete Docter that seem to be interested in diving in and exploring the complexities of the human experience and like to speak about how we come to be who we end up becoming. So far in Soul, we're presented with the great before, a place where souls are somehow shaped into who they are going to be before they even arrive in a body. This is where new souls get their personalities, quirks, and interests before they go to Earth. Throughout the great before, we see many different iterations of souls, the most common being these cute, playful, homogenized little guys that run around and seem to be guided by stylized, ethereal beings to discover who they are. Beyond the teacher, though, assisting the souls, there are there also seems to be an entire human type world for the young souls to explore and learn from even though they can't actually experience anything truly human just yet. I can't smell. We can't we can't taste either. All that stuff is in your body. Now, I don't fully trust the great before and everyone who's there. We know it's not hell, but those ethereal beings do seem highly suspect and villainous at times. I mean, what's that portal go to and why does this guy go after 22 and Joe? But at the same time, I kind of doubt the whole realm would be some type of dark place. It might just have uptight or occasionally nefarious individuals here and there. I really think the souls are transforming slowly in that place, and that progress seems to appear through seven circles that exist on the souls that haven't been to Earth. Now, I don't really know what each of the circles' designs are on the souls or what they mean, but they definitely are important somehow. When 22 is introduced behind the stage she's on, the circle design is is present, and we also see the design on a type of clipboard held by the same ethereal being, which shows that these circles are going to be a significant part of the great before, since it's repeated so often. On each of the young souls, they seem to have different amounts of these filled circles. 22, for example, has six of the seven circles filled, and by how she talks about Earth, it seems like she has more experience than the identical looking souls who only have a few circles filled. This seems to show that these circles are earned by the soul as it discovers itself and prepares to go to Earth until they are replaced with an image of the world. I think 22 having a depiction of Earth on her is showing us the moment when she's finally ready to go live out her life. It's also possible that the buildings that are amongst the souls could be representations of the designs on their circles. Maybe the key to progressing towards Earth is to unlock circles by facing tasks in those buildings. But to me, everything gets even more fascinating when we actually start to look look back at Inside Out to see how that story presented the origins of Riley's existence. In Riley's mind, her emotions explain that each core memory that was created from a moment that defined Riley's life powered an aspect of Riley's personality. The islands of personality are what make Riley Riley. But then the question becomes, do people have their entire personalities decided before they are born? Or are our experiences what truly makes us who we are? Soul and Inside Out seem to be a bit in conflict in their messaging when it comes to how our personalities are formed, but I think there could be a way to explain how both concepts can fit together because to me, the most productive way to understand yourself is to be able to live in the obscurity of life. On the surface, Soul seems to be stating that the soul within us is set in stone to some extent, but Inside Out proposes that our personality manifests through our experiences. But both explanations on people's truest selves must exist at the same time because everyone is simultaneously a unique individual who has unique experiences. I think it makes sense that the great before tests souls and allows them to explore a kind of make-believe world so that they can uncover the possible aspects of themselves that they want to carry with them when they venture to Earth. Maybe emotions in the souls are exploring the possibilities of their lives. Perhaps Riley's emotions determined when she was a soul that in an ideal world she would have a plethora of islands of personality, but maybe her experiences were the only way for those islands to actually become a pillar of who she fundamentally was on Earth. 
Maybe her core memories bring out the islands that her emotions had discovered for her when she was just a soul. To me, it makes sense that the soul dictates someone's potential, while the world shapes that potential into who they are. Regardless of who you were born as, your decisions each day brings you down a unique path, and this concept seems to be shown in Pixar's soul. This story seems to propose that our soul isn't completed before it's actually on Earth. All the souls that dive onto the world all seem to be pretty much identical, but when people die and go to the great beyond, all of them are shown to have changed to reflect the bodies that they inhabit just like how emotions seem to evolve to reflect the person that they inhabit over time. Emotions and souls are radically evolved because of human experience, which I think is fascinating. Everyone continues to evolve as they navigate the world, and that absolutely includes me. To all the fun people who continue to watch my videos, support me on Patreon, and have rooted for me to go after my dreams, you all have absolutely changed who I am. My experiences with all of you has positively impacted my emotions countless times, has amplified my soul and destiny, and has truly evolved me into the person that I am today. And that's how I see emotions and souls connecting. They come together when you begin living your life. But what do you think? Are you excited for Soul to come to Disney Plus? Also make sure to subscribe and click the beautiful bell and then click on another magical video in the description or on the screen. Finally, as always, thanks for watching and have a magical day.